During ESMO 2021, we saw some really interesting novel strategies for non-small cell lung cancer. So the ZN20 trial for patients with HER2 exon 20 uh, mutations. We saw the Atalant one trial, which uses a vaccine strategy in patients that were previously treated with chemo IO treatment. And we had the Tropion uh, pen tumor 01 study a phase one study using a drug conjugate for patients with previously treated actionable genomic alterations. At ESMO 2021, I presented the data on the Zenit 20 trial cohort four. And in cohort four, patients with non-small cell lung cancer harboring the HER2 exon 20 mutation were treated in first-line therapy with pozilotinib. So HER2 X20 mutations uh, are rare a subset of mutations. They account for approximately two to four percent of all mutations in non-small cell lung cancer. And pozilotinib is a pan her TKI, which is specifically aimed to that mutation. So patients were treated in QD dosing. The first 48 patients in that cohort got that dosing. And it showed that uh, the majority of patients had a tumor reduction, 88%. And the primary endpoint was objective response rate. And the drug showed an uh, objective response rate of 43.8% with a high disease control rate of 75%. So the median progression free survival was 5.6 months. All patients uh, experienced toxicity uh, with grade three uh, toxicities being present, mainly diarrhea, rash, and stomatitis. Uh, so the drug is effective. Um, However, somewhat to on the toxic side and eight milligrams BID dosing was tested and presented at ACR that showed better tolerability. And actually this cohort is further recruiting patients in eight milligrams BID dosing. And we have to see what the results uh, on those patients will be. At ESMO 2021, uh, the results of the phase three Atlanta one trial were presented. Um, so OZ2101 is used, and this is a um, the vaccination strategy consisting of five tumor associated antigens present in uh, almost every form of lung cancer. Um, and it was given to patients which were, which were HLA A2 positive, which is about half of the patients, and randomized against dose Texel or Pemetroxeta standards of care. The OC2101 was, was a repeated injection and primary endpoint was OS. So the protocol was amended due to COVID-19. Instead of 400 patients, only 219 patients were included. Those were included after chemo IO treatment. And the, the protocol was uh, amended to look at the uh, population of interest, which were patients that got secondary resistance after sequential chemo IO. So the primary outcome was overall survival, and it showed a really nice gain from 7.5 months for the chemotherapy arm to 11.1 months for the OC2101 um, group with an asset ratio of 0 0.59. Toxicity-wise, nothing really unusual uh, about the vaccination strategy. Uh, so the study, study shows a meaningful gain in uh, median OS. Uh, however, these results need to be confirmed in a more stable uh, study environment. At ESMO 2021, the results of the Tropion Pan Tumor 01 study were presented. It's a phase one trial, uh, but actually uh, targeted as a really interesting cohort. Patients with non-small cell lung cancer with actionable genomic alterations, so EGFR and ELK, uh, and likewise, uh, which were pre-treated with uh, the TKIs and chemotherapy, and then got this uh, drug conjugate, which consisted of a TROP2 uh, antibody with Tyrexacan, which is a chemotherapy-like uh, agent. And TROP2 is expressed in almost not, uh, every cell, every non-small cell lung cancer cell. So patients were treated with different uh, dose levels and 34 patients were treated and the overall response rate was pretty nice, 35% for this group of uh, heavily pre-treated patients. 
with a duration of response of nine and a half months. So toxicity wise, because the drugs can is uh, like chemotherapy, the toxicities were also very chemotherapy like. So nausea, stomatitis, and fatigue. So this results of the studies are very encouraging and led to a bigger trial, the Tropion Lung 05 trial, which is currently recruiting patients. Mm -hmm.